So now that the changes that you made to build the feature branch are now pushed to the remote repository on the internet on a branch named as feature, right? But to actually bring the changes to the users who are using our application or service, we need to push these changes finally to the branch that is responsible for bringing the things into the production. That is the main branch, right? So how to do it? Let's try to do it in our local system. So what we need to do is we need to first come on the main branch, git check out main. Now on this main branch, we have to use a command that basically merges our feature branch to the main branch. So for that, we have the command git merge feature, right? So now what it did, it basically merged the changes that were in feature branch and brought it to the branch that was the main. Now, what we need to do is finally, we want to send the code that is on main to the remote repository just because these changes are still on my local system. So for that, I'll use the command git push origin main. Cool. Okay. I'll, I have written this, but guys, there is some issue with this. This will solve our problem of bringing the things to the main branch at the remote, but we didn't solve the actual issue. What is the actual issue? The issue is that if we push this change to the main branch and still no one has tested it, this change can create the bugs or some crashes in the application, right? So how to solve this? That is where the concept of pull request comes, right? So what are these pull requests? Pull requests are basically the requests made by the developers to pull the changes to the source branch. And this is done so that I can inform as a developer to my fellow other developers or my manager to actually review the changes of the code that I have done to build the feature, right? So let's go and build a PR. So here on GitHub, you'll get a tab named as pull request and we create a new pull request. Here it will ask for the base branch and compare branch, right? So base branch means the destination branch where we need to actually get the changes, right? So now our use case is that we need to bring the changes of feature branch to the main branch, right? So our base branch will be main and our compare branch will be feature, right? So now when I do that, it is showing the commits that were made in the feature branch and the actual changes, right? So here I'll click on this create pull request. And now while creating the pull request, I can add my team members or my manager as an approval, right? So now I'll give the title to this pull request. Let's say this was Jira ticket 112, something like this. And I'll add some text and then create this pull request. Finally, when I've created this pull request, now people can go and review my code. And if they feel they can add a comment. Right. So now let's say they have reviewed the code. Now what I can do is after this particular PR gets approved by my manager or my teammates, I can go on, go and merge it directly from the GitHub to the main branch. Right. So here, when I'm clicking, when I'm seeing this merge option here, you can see there are three options for that. One is to create a merge commit. So now what is create a merge commit? Right. It is basically the same thing that we did on the local system. So right, what we are doing is we are bringing all the commits of the feature branch directly into the main branch so that the main branch has the history of both the branches, right? But the problem with this is if our free feature branch has many commits, right? If let's say it is dirty. Now all that dirt will come to the history of the main branch. So in many cases where you have created a feature with many commits and those commits are not important for the history of the main branch, what we can do is we can use the second option that is squash merge. What it does is it basically brings all the changes that you made for on the feature branch and it will bring it to a single commit. Right. So that our history is not disrupted on the main branch. Cool.
What is the third option? So the third option is rebase and merge. In this, we don't want to bring all the commits into a single commits as well as we don't want to disturb the history by merging both histories of feature and main branch in the main branch, right? So what we can do is we can just bring the changes of feature branch and add it over the tip of main branch so that the histories of feature branch are not mixed with the main branch, right? Personally, I would just go with the second option. What I want is I want to bring all the commits and finally merge them with a single commit to my destination branch, right? So here I'll select this question merge and just click on it. So now it is saying that cool. So pull request approved and merge, right? Also guys, before merging, it is required that your testing team or the QA team of your company would test the code on the feature branch. Cool. So now this is merged. Now let's go to the code and see that in the main branch, I have the changes of the feature branch. Cool. So now I can say that my main branch and feature branch are finally merged. Cool. So guys, many times in this particular process of merging, developers face an issue that is merge conflict. Let's see what is this merge conflict and how it is arised and how can we resolve it.